Well, here's a piece of neodymium yag that I have mostly preformed to a cut that isn't published yet, made by a friend of mine. And got the pavilion almost done. There's another set of facets to put in here at a slightly higher, higher angle, yeah, down near the girdle. And the girdle is faceted all the way around. There's one facet that's a little bit uh, low, but I just did that with the 260, and so now I'm gonna move on to the 600 pre-polished lap and finalize the, finalize the placement of these facets and then work the girdle in just a little bit more to make everything even as I go around. I have this 1200 grit lap that I'm still breaking in and the 600 polish of those new facets, which are the more frosted parts on the girdle or on the, this pavilion now. I was trying to cut those in with the 600 and it was going really slow. And so I switched over to the 1200 thinking that might go faster and it, it, it certainly did. And the 1200 polish looks worse than the 600. So I'm gonna go back to the 600, touch up these faces and then do the girdle pre-polish and after that should be ready to move on to polish. I'm working my way through on the 600 polish and you can kind of tell I've had to overcut this one that's done relative to the one to the right. There's kind of a step down from that one to that one and that's because my bright idea of using the new 1200 topper lap backfired and you can see right there that there are very big scratches in the faces from the 1200 grit lap. And so I've had to cut down quite a ways more than I had anticipated in polishing it with the 600 lap. Certainly slower than I had hoped it would be. It's a learning experience and now I know that I really need to dress that 1200 lap before I use it on anything uh, too precious. Or I could use it as a cutting lap for a little while but you can see I left some room from that 1200 lap to go down a little bit. There's a little gap between this uh, triangular facet and the one over here. So I do have room to cut down so I don't have to overcut too much, but I will have to make up and go back into the, that facet, that's that long tr skinny facet and redo that one and bring it down as well. So it touches the girdle here. I transferred the stone and it wasn't my best transfer and somehow the angles got off by almost exactly six degrees so I just have to transpose everything by six degrees and I adjusted the cheater slightly which is this which is just a fine uh, rotation of the stone clockwise or counterclockwise and what I've done so far is on the course 180 lap is bring this just about to a knife's edge what I'm looking for is that the knife edge you know, meets parallel to one another from opposite sides and it also splits this girdle in half on both sides evenly, which it does on the left and the right there. It meets across it. And also that the depth of cut on this side is so the, the girdle ends about there and I'm looking at it to see that that's the same as on this side, which I think it is. Looking at it in profile here, it looks about the same. And so what I'll do next is bring this, you know, pseudo girdle around, all the way around with the appropriate angles, and just make sure that I'm, you know, level all the way across and around, and then I'll switch to a finer lap and grind down to the actual final girdle line. And this way I'm able to find my center, make sure everything's aligned and adjust everything and I still have you know plenty of room to plenty of room to play with. You know there's a couple millimeters there before I reach my you know, eventual final girdle line where I've polished. So let's do that. This is where I ended yesterday with most of the crown facets that are in there pre-polished with my 600 grit new
new Bond diamond resin lap which is worn in so it cuts a little more like a 1200 and my 1200 is very coarse because I still have to break it in. So this is serving as my 600 slash pre-polish and it's doing a pretty good job I think. You can see on the left side and th that's all pre-polished up and the right side I still have to do those uh, skinny facets and there's still one more small set of facets and then the table to put in and then I'll go back through the whole thing and polish it up and we'll be good to go. All right, we got the facets all polished up with 50,000 diamond powder and you can see that really added to the brilliance of the stone and all I have left now to do is add in the table. I'll do that with the 600 grit I guess. It'll take a little while but it'll be worth it to be able to position it as I need it. Not all of my neat points met up, unfortunately, but that's the way it goes sometimes. I think there was a little bit of rotational error somewhere in the transfer, besides just that six degrees. There was something else that was a little funky, but it'll still look pretty good. It's finally done. It took a long time because I had an issue when I polished the table where I had my lap running clockwise and apparently that loosens the screw and so as I was pressing down the lap was tilting and so I had kind of a double facet on the top that I had to polish out at the extent or at the expense of a couple of neat points but you can see even on the top we're still very bright there's a lot of brilliance in here and the focus keeps getting lost but I'll take this off the dop, get rid of the wax, and show you the result. And the final carat weight is, let's say 8.125. Seems to be bouncing around a little bit. 8.12. 8.12 carats. 8.125 carats. 